Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel, located in Chicago, Illinois. And I'm here to let you know some things. These are things that you should hear and things that you should really consider because going into the year of 2023, uh, there will be a huge acceleration effect on people. Some people are feeling it acutely, but let me break it down for you, okay? Because some people can get very daunted and to an extent, a lot of people are feeling stuck. Um, you're stuck on purpose because it's time to reach up. It's literally time to ascend. And both of you can't have messes and stuff inside. You have to create a beautiful love nest on the inside and outside in order to really accomplish what you're here for. So I'm going to break this down into the essential things that you need, things that are essential. You need to be able to breathe. You need to not only be able to breathe, you need to be ridding yourself of upper respiratory things. That only happens through the integration of your new light body, which I call the twin flame body. Next, not only breathing, but being breathed into, okay? Lover's breath. Twin flame breath. It's a whole different thing because this requires you to get your inflow channels open and your outflow channels open because that is how you dissipate the ill effects of the world. These are parts of you that are definitely felt, but they are not seen. And medical science and your medical team doesn't know about it. And yet you will feel it. You'll feel constricted, restricted dense, heavy, you'll feel, honestly, you'll feel literally like you're stagnating because you're not getting into your tank what you need to sustain yourself truly. Not only that, this is a part of how you ascend. It is a process of removing the heavy things and bringing in the much lighter stuff to support you. Breath. How do you eat for your light body? This is a big question out there. I am telling you the questions that I've had really over the past 10 years. How do I live? How do I eat? How do I breathe? How do I sleep? How do you eat for your light body? How do you eat that is optimal for each zone where your chakras are located? And not only that, your shared connection points. And let me tell you, there is not only one answer. It doesn't mean you have to be a vegetarian. You can choose to, but for your light body, you only have to do it some of the time. It's time to stop the food shaming, okay? Nor do you have to be into fad foods, nor do you have to have the most expensive faddish food out there filled with mushrooms and you know exotic ingredients. Um, that's not gonna be very budget friendly for you nor is it sustainable. And sometimes you can't get your family to be on board with you. Trust me on that one. You know, if you're getting stuff and the kids don't want to eat it, or you're still in a relationship and your partner's not going to do it, it's not going to help you. It has to be sustainable and conducive for everyone. And that means real food, real food at regular grocery store prices in your area. And yet a real way to do it for your light body. How do you sleep? I wrote something called sleeping in your light body because I began to understand it is very different. It's a very different level. It is beyond the astral plane. It's beyond your ego. It's beyond the mundane things of the world. And only a part of that is stop paying attention to the media. You know, like if you see a news item about a house fire, you may dream it at night because it kind of loops there within your ocular system. You have a whole different system that's intended to help you see other levels during the night when you're most relaxed and engage the other side of your nervous system. It has to be that way going forward, okay? Another thing that you need to be aware of, psychology. If you're trained to be a junior psychologist and you think that's gonna catch your man or your woman, you are sadly mistaken because the book knowledge doesn't replace the attraction of the heart, nor can you rescue someone, nor can you save everyone. 
here is one of the differences between soulmates and twin flames. Twin flames feel you from the inside out. Soulmates hear you with their ears and their ego and pretty much they don't care sometimes. They're going to do their own thing or they're going to do it their way or they're going to, you know, argue with you, cajole you, you know, seduce you, manipulate you, whatever. And when it is your other half, it's the best part of hard communication where you feel each other. Let me ask you a question. Do you have times where you can sense things and you're wondering if they're really accurate? Like maybe you sense something like there's something happening on the other side of me here, and yet I'm not quite sure. The way that I teach you, you're going to be absolutely 100% crystal clear sure, okay? Because there's going to be no room or no, no place for doubt. You can't even carry it. There's nowhere in your light body for that kind of negativity. How do you arrange your life as a daily routine? Arranging your life. I don't mean just simplifying your life because there will be busy times and you're intended to have a super normal life and yet a super fun and exciting life that is your speed, okay? How do you customize this for yourself? Well, if you're not getting some of the other aspects of your life accomplished, like where do you like? Now I, I do something a little bit advanced. This is advanced and yet I help you get there. Are you doing things for your area, for your grid? I don't mean saving all of humanity. I don't mean saving all of the children. There are some people that are re all ready to go off for a cause and they can't even manage their own life. And I, I recommend get your life in order, turn the mirror around and start getting your things lined up because that's the alignment you need. There is a huge alignment and there is a huge task in getting rid of things from the old paradigm, from the old levels, from the old patterns old patterns of relationship, biology patterns in your DNA for your health, it's possible. Not only is it possible, the people I've been working with, they're getting reports from their medical teams that it's working for them. They are slowly diminishing their chronic conditions because they're breathing, they're eating, they're living, they're sleeping, okay? And they're enjoying because this isn't being done under us. This is being done with an eye towards enjoyment, fun, lightening up, feeling good, feeling the love, okay? Maybe some of you haven't been touched in a long time. Do you know there's a big difference between filling your tank with higher level love and just being caressed by someone that, you know, maybe they can or can't cut it? Now, we're approaching the holidays. A lot of people miss someone at the holidays. A lot of people are not quite sure what they're going to do for the holidays. And we don't have to make it into a country and Western version of the holidays. We're here to help you with the mental health. This is why having a daily routine that I give you an outline for helps you, where it starts you in the beginning of your day and it ends in your night. If you're on that kind of schedule, like you work during the day, you go from morning till night. If you're night to morning, we just flip it around for you, okay? But you have a plan on what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. There is a daily plan. So look, as you're on this ascension journey, there is a daily, weekly, monthly. There are monthly cycles. There are seasonal cycles. You have to know how to navigate this stuff. If you don't, time to learn. So please join my six-week class where we will start you with opening up your breath and your crown, your crown chakra, which is right here and actually man helps manage all of your senses, okay? How would you like to have expanded senses beyond five? I'm telling you, you have some gifts that are seated in you that you're probably not even aware of, but they start popping. And I mean, literally like, I have a technique called pop your crown, which helps you get that open for expansion. How to eat. We're going to do some demos where you are going to learn how to eat so that it is manageable for you. Okay. 
I don't care how much fun you have with food. Like, listen, I'm a foodie. I, you know, when NASA was first going in the 1960s, you know, astronaut food was all the rage. And now maybe, you know, I, I, look, I've had organic things that taste like crap. And I've had super homemade stuff that, you know, was someone's grandma's recipe that is just so good. It, it was luscious. Okay. It's about the energy that goes into the food. How to sleep. Do you want a lucid level of dreaming and sleeping? Do you want to get to those lucid levels that really are a part of you? And you know, you're really there and you're not even questioning it the next day. And you're like, woohoo, I was in this level and I was doing this and that. It's a lot of fun. And let me tell you, 30 minutes of that lucid level sleeping is enough to refresh you as much as a good eight hour sleep. There's no joke about it. And sometimes I'm going to tell you this, your physical body needs rest, but guess what? So does your spirit. Your spirit needs fun and play. We're all about that. Okay. The other thing we're going to cover is your plan. Okay. Like when I say your plan, what I mean is what do you have going forward? We're going into next year. If you're going off half cocked, you could squander your time. You could squander your money. You could waste things. You're not going back out into the universe saying, wait, let me pull a card on that. You know, like you need to get your body going because that is the thing that is going to steer you, guide you, skim you over, like literally go like, whoa, we ditched that. We avoided that obstacle in our path. Yes, you did. Because I'm teaching you how to do this. And you get not only that, you get live intuitive questions and answers. We have a lot of joking and fun. Almost every single segment we do, someone talks about what they dreamed. And why are they talking about it? Not just to talk about dreams. They're talking about fabulous dreams or really intriguing dreams because that's what this work does. This work is getting people to levels that they never really dreamed were possible for them. Levels of health, levels of new relationships with family, even a level of neutrality as though they are Switzerland where they're going like, well, I suppose that was supposed to blow up. Okay, I've got to go now. And it, it's not triggering you. Would you like to stop getting triggered? Would you like to stop running to the internet for you know, an energy report every single time you feel a bump or something in the night. I mean, there's really deep stuff that we have to get fixed here, people. We can't help humanity. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Like it or not, you have a connection to that other person inside you. If you have an ache here and it's not yours, it's going to be theirs. If you want the cooperation, you have to cooperate within. So this is what I do. I reassure, I go inside and I say, it's going to be all right. I'm here with you. We're in it together. Not in my head, in my heart. Not even with words. I'm with you and in you. And you're in me too. We will get through this holiday season. I'm going to learn and you'll feel it too. Don't be blue or I'm with you. And so it is. So I hope you'll join us. I hope that you're ready to level up and really start your ascension. Look at the links below for the description and I hope to see you there. Bye.